but it's nice. But start I, it at starts at nine. I know that, but last, but in Metro, it started at nine, been in ended at three thirty. Yeah. But four fifteen is way so too that late. So forty five minutes bugs you? Yes. <laughs> Why? Because it's so long. Well, it's good. And then I have my art club too, which I absolutely hate. And it goes until 5.15 when I have my art club. Why well, at least by it? the time you're done with your art club, dinner's ready. True. And it's only one day a week, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so it doesn't really make a difference. It's just one day that... Have you met anybody in your clubs? Um, no. Have you tried? No. no. She's hiding. And what about you? How's work for you in this move? Oh, I did make a friend down the street. Her name is Kyle. We haven't talked for a month. I have no idea why, but whatever. And then I have one in the neighborhood next to us. Her name's Amanda. And I I put a, that's uh, all I have. a general <laughs> question for uh, on Nextdoor app. Because here in Colorado, the Nextdoor app is happening. Like, people are fucking friends and chit-chatting. And, like, Colorado community sense of community is so different than Arizona's sense of community like it yeah. it's very personable and so I put an ad well not an ad just a general question just saying that the kids we just moved here and they need friends and it'll be hard for them to make friends because of the pandemic and schools and whatever and a lot of parents responded like that I, I didn't think I would get anybody to respond but there was like three or four parents and so she made a friend, and then Elias has a friend that he talks to on his Discord. Um, but the girl never added me on Discord. The one that you met? No. The uh, other girl? The other girl. Well, probably because of your name. I just, yeah. What? Your name on Discord. Discord? Oh, wait, so yours much. was just Sindel, right? It was Sindel underscore six nine, and it's not a big deal. It was just random numbers. I thought it was it. Snapchat. That's why, the Snapchat name. Did she ever add you? Amanda. Oh, yeah, that was she Amanda. Did. Okay. She didn't say anything about your name. No. But the girl on Discord never added me. And I didn't even mean to put six nine. It was just random numbers I put. <laughs> <laughs> like we believe that. <laughs> No, like, I'm no, being completely I, you're, honest. Your mom is funny. I am being completely honest. Okay. I just randomly put numbers, and it was 6 9 <laughs> So, what else would you like to discuss? Do you enjoy the weather here? Do you like the snow? It's better, but it's cold as hell. We'll get used to That's it eventually. That's why you have blankets. Yeah. And our blood will thicken up. I'm used to the Arizona heat. And the summers we, are going to be rough because they. You need to message hot. her again and ask if she ever got the message because they. We're making Christmas cookies this weekend. Yeah, that. Too. I made Christmas crack. Those are crackers, not crack. Sorry, we're we're a friendly household here. We don't do drugs. The except medical marijuana, but that's her. Taste. Nope, I haven't done medical marijuana in almost a year. Yeah, I stopped doing it. Then why do you have a whole ass chunk of that shit? Because I was trying different kinds. <laughs> There's a lot of different variations of it. Some have a little bit of CBD, some of them have, don't have any. Yeah. There's a lot of different variations of it. And when you use it for medicine, you have to use a lot of different variations to find out which one works best for you. Um, but I think I might become a cop. A cop? That's what's calling to her. And so after you're gonna get killed at, in fucking Broomfield. Yes. <laughs> no. They have a lot of human trafficking here. I can help save people. I will be a good cop if I become a cop. I will be a good cop. I don't think you should. Why? Because there's gonna be a lot of protesters being like ACAB bitch. Then I'll be like, I'm a good guy. <laughs> I'm not. Not all cops are gonna be bastards. I would rather be fucking. And you know what? They know the that all, good, all cops are not mean. They're protesting against I the know, cops that are bad. I know, but literally everyone are just like, A-C-A-B, which means all cops are bastards. Okay. And then when they see just one cop, they're like, oh, A-C-A-B, even if you're a good guy, A-C-A-B, blah, 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 blah. It's not necessarily <gasps> the cops that are bad. It's the way that they're trained and how their company and their unions and everything are put together. The way that they're trained should be 
including everyone. Like, well, yeah, because everyone's trained the same. Yeah, way. Yeah, they're trying but... to they're trying to change it. They're trying to no, re- like including all races. Like, they're trying to reform it. All races. Yeah, they're yeah, trying to reform. They're trying to reform. That's why they want to tear them down and build them over again. Because... And it, and it, when they say to um, dis- dismantle the police force and stuff, it doesn't really mean dismantle. It means to reform them. And all these people out there are like making stupid assumptions they're like oh if you're raped who are you gonna call if there's no cops <laughs> and it's like a lot well, of you're gonna get cops to help you but you're also gonna get people who can actually fucking help you yeah because, because cops can't do the psychological bullshit that people who have had traumatic experiences need and they need those people shit? yeah i'm doing psychology so yeah major, so you're gonna get why. cops if you're raped to... or whatever but you're also gonna get somebody who's gonna help you deal with the trauma because my major is psychology and my uh Minor is in criminal justice. Okay. So I can help. I want to help with like victims and victim rights and stuff like that. And, you know, be a good cop and not a bad cop and get into it and try to change the shit that's happening. Okay. Yeah, I get that. So not all cops are bastards. It's just that fucking the systematic racism is I'm showing that. I'm saying it now. I don't. I don't agree with that sentence. Okay. Like, at all. Okay, that's good. Because I don't think all cops are bastard. I just think that they're racist and they need I think to that, systematic I think racism the system even start that again. Or they are working in is a racist system, and that's what needs to be dismantled. Yeah, all the old white people that are in charge of everything, and the unions who lean that direction as well. Yeah, but there needs to be a change, and we're looking to see that the change is going to be happening because of all the shit that's happened this year and last, and all the years before that. But it's been even you know harder because now we're protesting. I mean, even harder because of George Floyd's unfortunate circumstances and all everybody else's unfortunate circumstances. And um, there was a new one. I saw people. There's no, a- the. the it, the one that fucking Trump is trying to fucking push all these freaking people that are on death row. He's trying to get them murdered as soon as possible. Okay, so there is this one guy, and he was... Well, not murdered. Put to death. Yeah. There was this one In guy, some cases, and he got murdered. a death sentence, but he got out of jail for like 20 years, and his death sentence was this year. Yeah, that was um the one that I read the other day. He was in prison for 30 years over marijuana, selling marijuana. No, I don't think was it, it was. That one? No, um, it was this dude that was in jail, and he was like on a death sentence. But he's been out of jail for twenty years, and just like the past week or something was his death date, and um, people were trying to get that like cleared and everything, but he was put to death. Either way, was the black guy? Was no, was I think he was named... a white guy. Oh, I don't know. Because I know that, that there was a a black gentleman that was just put to death a couple days ago. I could find the information. Um, I don't know. I think but, it was a white guy. I just, I was put, bought, watching one of my friends who's like all over the Black Lives Matter ACAB bullshit. Cause, it's not bullshit. It's not bullshit. It's, it's like opinionated. The Black Lives Matter thing isn't bullshit, but the ACAB shit is. Because it's like, it's not true. But it's stereotypes. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, so I want to go to school to, to fucking not... To work on this shit. To make things better for everybody. The guy's name... I'm getting kind of hungry. Brandon Bernard. He was put to death the other day. And I will look it up. So, what else? Mm -hmm. Is there anything else that's been on your mind? No. No. Hold up. Brandon Bernard. I'm excited to get... I put together my data for my end of the year book reading that I did. I spent all morning on it. Okay, so Brandon Bernard is this African-American gentleman that murdered a couple in 1999. 
He was put to death the other day. But you see, he's an African-American man. So, other people that have fucking murdered people are out. Like that 17-year-old motherfucker. Rittenhouse. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Didn't he, like, run over people with his truck? Yeah. No, he was the one that shot people in the back while they were running away. And he said it was for, um, what do you call it? Self-defense. That. And. Wasn't there, like, a couple teenagers that went into, like, a BLM, like, protest with guns? He was one of them, and he got arrested, and his Uh mom dropped him off. He crossed state lines with the AR-15. Yeah, him. Yeah, and uh, they raised millions and millions of dollars for all these people because they said it was in self-defense against the protesters. That's so stupid. And the numbers have come out that 98% of the fucking Black Lives Matters protests were... Nonviolent. Nonviolent. They weren't. Like, literally, the news only showed the violent ones. But I've seen a lot on TikTok, and it was just a bunch of... I know TikTok is like a bunch of fake news and everything, but, like, most of the protests I saw on TikTok were all peaceful, and I was like, why aren't they showing these ones? All the ones that they're showing is violent, and the rubber bullets, and the freaking gas... Gas. Even the the, one that we witnessed. The tear gas. In Albuquerque, remember? Yeah, that one was peaceful too. There was cops, like, following them to make sure nothing bad happened to them or anything. And And there was was cops before them to shut down the traffic? Yeah. Yeah, it was just... The media... Don't trust the media. Most of the time, you cannot trust the media. And so, what I've also heard... Wait, you're the one that told me about the zombies and vampires? Oh, yeah. Oh, what? The theory about it is... Zombies, zombie literature and zombie movies and everything come out more often when there's a Democrat in office, and the vampires come out more often when there's a Republican in office. This was on our podcast, shot about it. Wait, is Biden or... Biden is a Democrat. Democrat. So, zombies come out? So yeah. let's see if yeah, zombies... Wait, because... no, 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 no. Okay, I want to know the Okay, wait, wait, that? wait. On, on TikTok, literally, I see everyone doing this fang thing... And then there was one girl that was like, it's not edited at all. And I kind of believed her because, like, that shit looked so real. And, like, there was, there's so many vampires I'm seeing on freaking TikTok. And it could be edited. It could not be. It's so weird, though. But zombies are supposed to come out when Biden... Do you want to have any any zombies? No, not actual zombies. Just zombie literature and stuff. Because zombies are what? They're mindless masses. So they're saying that... And so they're saying that socialism and all of that, because it's about the masses, are zombies. And so vampires are what? One person who has life forever, and they're typically rich people. Yeah. So that would be a Republican. When a Republican is office, more vampires. Wasn't Biden used to be a Republican and homophobic? No. He used to be... He did... He has... Okay. Biden has been done racist things in his voting. He has absolutely voting. done and racist things. I've heard he did homophobic shit. Yeah, but people can change. So here's the thing. We could all say, oh, Trump can change. Trump used to be a supporter of the LGBTQ. Trump he did. used to be a supporter. Yeah. I and then he found more what power happened? in the Republican Party. Oh. That's dumb. I've never heard that. Yeah, he used to be a proponent. And Biden used to be... And he used to be pro-choice, too. He's only not pro-choice. Really? Of course he's not pro-choice. He's fucking... Now he kisses the church's ass. Yeah, he... he, Of course he was pro-choice before because he was fucking and raping people and molesting children. So, of course he's going to be pro-choice. Allegedly. Molesting children? Allegedly molesting children. Yes. 13-year-old. Yeah. Oh, my God. Yeah, but, so but people bad. don't want to talk about it. And they're like, this is oh. our president. Yeah, well, he only has a fucking it's month alleged. left. It's alleged. Yeah. It's allegedly. Allegedly. We, we could throw allegedly all up of everything. He's a fucking piece of shit. He really is. Um, He's I don't, power. I don't agree with Biden family. either. I don't agree with either of them. I hate Biden. I hate him. But we, we, it was a good idea to settle for Biden because Trump would have, like, ruined everything for all of us. Okay, do you want to know why we settle for Biden? Because he's middle of the road. He's not a socialist. He's very middle of the road. He stays in that little box and he doesn't veer out of it. So he's a... a... Would you have voted for Trump if you didn't settle for Biden? 
No. No. I haven't voted for Trump by either, either election. Would you have voted okay. for Joe Jorgensen?